and on goes the mic. Okay. And there is the camera. Hello, everybody. Uh, it has definitely uh, been a bit since we've uh, last streamed. I want to say it was like over the weekend or so since we last streamed. Uh, as you can tell by the glasses that I'm wearing here, I'm going to be doing a little art stream. Uh, that is correct. With this here stylus and these gloves. Well, this glove. This was a singular. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing more odd taxi drawing. We're going to be uh, making some more progress. Uh, week's been okay on my end, you know, just uh, just uh, getting used to things, still trying to, you know, keep busy, all that stuff. This has been uh, one of the ways to, uh, you know, fine-tune my abilities and artwork and whatnot, just fine-tune those creative muscles, so that way I'm just doing something. But aside from that, uh, let's see here. Also been uh, watching more of Peacemaker, been enjoying that. And, uh, yeah, so, from when we last left off, we're just gonna switch over to the artboard here. We have made, we finished up, uh, the rough drawing of Fuyuki, the fox boy, right over here. And, that way, if you can still see it, hold on a sec. Yeah, like, this, this fox boy here. This guy right here, we finished him up. Well, the rough version, anyway. Uh, we just got started on Kakihana. And uh, we have the idea of what it'll look like, for the most part. And uh, now we just need to actually, you know, make him look proper. Actually make him look like himself. The good old uh, uh, guy looking for, uh, looking for a girl and stuff like that. And then hijinks and Sue. What hijinks involved specifically, I will not say, because you need to go watch the show yourself, which is all available in English and Japanese on Crunchyroll or Verve. You can pick either one. You can watch every single episode from there. I still have only seen like two episodes of the English dub, but I've seen the entire show in full. I won't spoil it for anybody who has not seen it. I'm not going to be that guy. Uh, so, or at least for a year, I won't. <laughs> Uh, but even then, I still wouldn't do that anyway, for the most part, but no. Okay, now then. Uh, as per usual, I'll be listening to a soundtrack from, uh, something. This is on YouTube, so, I, th this, the song that I'm listening to is on YouTube, so I can share what I'm listening to right now. I'm listening to, uh, video game cafe music from this YouTube channel called Super Media All-Stars. Uh, let's see here what I'm listening to. Boom. Just like that. So if you want to listen to it, feel free. Anyways, uh, so I'm just going to play out my music, and we're going to start a timer for about two hours. And, or, and, and, like, at least, like, maybe, like, one hour and 30 minutes. And then, like, keep it going from there and then we'll just uh you know decide whether or not we want to go for like 30 more minutes or just stop it there set a timer for an hour and 30 minutes there so when my alarm goes off that means i need to like make a decision of whether to go for 30 if i still have some spoons in me we'll go for 30 more in we'll go for 30 more minutes and if not then i'll just uh i'll i'll stop doing the stream and then we can just keep maybe continue drawing again and at some point later down the week we'll do another song stream anyway let's uh let's not dilly dally let's just get started okay so kakihana just gotta make sure it's not like peeking through my thing but it's not a big deal uh kakihana kakihana we got an idea of how his anatomy works out. It's like his his hands go all the way down to his fucking knees. But, uh, yeah, there's... Because that's exaggeration. Um... Now 
Now we just need to correct the, we just need to make sure that the arm is proper. I know exactly which part of the Once Upon a Time poster this is referencing. It's like that bit with the little girl and the phone and the teddy bear. I think she's like in that scene of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood where Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Rick Dalton, is like, you know, just acting the scene and then just trying to figure out what to do and shit. Um, let's see here. Now that I look at I think his head might be a little too big, so I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit. But hey, you know what? You'd rather have in my experience you'd rather a teacher of mine said like it's best to like, you know Sorry, I want to say. Sorry, my my Windows computer was bugging me about updating and I'm like I, I usually try not to mess with that stuff until I have to. Because there's always that thing of like, oh, your computer might be out of date or something. Careful. And it's like... Whatever. I'll figure it out. Uh, just need to scale and rotate this. More accurately, shrink it. No need to change it. No need to squish it. Just need to... There we go. Oh wait, that might have been too much. Hmm. Yeah, his head is slightly bigger. Keep it there. Anyways. I'm pretty sure I didn't really change all that much with him, but let's see. Now once again, Twitch, this is an anime, so please leave me alone. This is me just simply using references to understand how the body works and where to put everything. So please do not bother me. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see here. He's not a uh, super strong guy. He's a pretty thin, scrawny dude. So we're gonna give his we're gonna make his arms a little just thin noodles. Basically, my arms without any muscle whatsoever. I wonder how. Maybe he's five foot five like me. Which is not very tall at all. Which, in comparison to like, I don't know, five foot nine, it's short. But not by much. Like, it, there are people who are just massive. And I'm like, whoa. And then, when people walk by me, I, I tend to be shocked if they're like super short. Because it's like, because I often meet people who are either the same height as me or significantly taller. So, whenever it's someone who is like, significantly shorter than me it's like whoa shit i wasn't expecting that it's it's humbling i guess um let's see here and the thing about this one is that we have to use like tinier brushes with this one because because it's so zoomed in Okay, and then we need to work on a bit of his abdomen or whatever. I don't fucking know. A abdominal? Abdomen? Is that how you say that? Like, is that what, is that the technical term for abs? Abdomen or abdominal? I know abdominal is it, you yeah. know. I'm thinking of Frankenstein for some reason, like that bit where uh, you see him like shooting away the the fire. I saw that movie in a theater during like a Fathom event. It was it was a great decision to do that because 
the movie is very good like very well made and it's super it's super weird hearing seeing movies like that like without sound and stuff. like because there's a time where like we're so used to movies having like fucking sound and shit that that there was like a time where like music like soundtracks specifically like background music wasn't always a thing it was like a very rare luxury and most of the times like movies like that like frankenstein or the first dracula were often fucking dead silent i don't remember what the first opening track of frankenstein was i know that dracula was uh swan lake i know that but i i couldn't tell you what the fucking opening track to frankenstein was i know that bride of frankenstein had a fucking soundtrack definitely had a soundtrack What else about that movie was something else? Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Frankenstein. And much like a lot of other kids, I I called the monster Frankenstein, even though that was totally inaccurate, because as many as we would learn later on, thanks to uh, James Rolfe of Monster Madness and many other sources, it was just called the monster, not or Frankenstein's monster, not the or the Frankenstein monster. I think the reason why they just end up calling him Frankenstein is just because it's it's just easier to remember and because it doesn't help that it doesn't help that the monster's face is on the fucking poster rather than Dr. Frankenstein, which is fair. You know, it's 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 such an iconic iconic image. Uh Hmm. Okay, just keep fucking getting this done. All right. Looking through this little thing here. At some point, I gotta flip this drawing and make sure that everything's proper. And of course, it's not. I think what's really uneven about is, uh, let's see here. See, this part looks fine. This part in the right looks fine. I just have to even it out. Some cafe music uh, tends to sound like, you know, like uh, video game cafe music specifically. I'm not sure which part of this track is playing, but like sometimes it does sound like fucking something from the the, the peanuts or something. This must have been like from paper uh, from Mario Odyssey or something. It's probably, yeah, the, this thing is way too fucking high, so we need to correct that. Lucian Dodge plays uh, Kakihana in the show, and he's pretty good from what I've heard. I've only, again, I've only seen, like, two episodes of the show. <laughs> I, I would watch more, but, like, I just started watching Peacemaker, and that's kind of been t uh, my current obsession right now. Do... The hell? How do I make this thing go away? Uh, what's this? Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, stop, stop! Oh, I made a selection, and I'm like, I gotta move that selection. No, Fuyuki, you're not the focus of tonight's stream. Mm. 
Whoa, shit, nope. Turn off the selection tool. Don't need that open. Don't need that on. There we go. That way, uh, it does look like the hair is sprouting a bit from his head. Just checking on occasion to make sure to see if anything's open. Yeah, it needs to just even out this fucking thing here. Maybe if I eyeball it, I could get it pretty okay. Apparently, uh, early reviews for the Morbius movie are out recent are out now, and it's basically what people have been expecting. And by that, I mean people thought it was going to be kind of a disappointment, and. Uh, the general consensus appears to be that it is a disappointment. But I haven't seen it, so I, again, I'm probably not gonna pay a. T I'm probably not gonna pay a ticket for it. No, I, I'll. If someone invites me to watch it, and I, as long as I don't have to spend money on watching it, that's fine. I just have no interest in watching it. There's this weird thing about, like, I know the whole, like, don't like, don't watch argument is a thing, and it's, like, a fallacy of an argument, but I think there's also, like, there's something to be said about, like, hey, like, hate watching is also not a good thing. Like, when if you watch a trailer and you say, I hate this, I don't think it makes any sense for somebody to go out of their way to fucking watch it. To say, like, oh, unless you're, like, unless, like, you're a movie critic or something, and it's your job to analyze media, then I get it. But, uh, I think... If you're just an average an average schmo, like earning like you know five dollars a week or some shit, oh, five dollars a week. You know the f the sad thing is that may not be too bad. If you're only like maybe if you have like five bucks to spare, and or ten bucks to spare depending on how expensive movie tickets are, and you decide to go see a movie, and uh, and you paid your hard earned money on it, uh, I think, you know, it just sort of comes without saying that like hey man. If you did not like what you saw in that trailer, why the fuck did you spend a buck ten or buck fifteen or buck twenty five, depending on how early you go to the movie theaters to see it? Makes no damn sense. Why didn't you just wait for it to come on streaming or something? Because at least in that regard, or like wait or have someone fucking give you a free ticket so that way you're not spending money on it. Just don't. Why are you wasting your time, like time and energy doing it? Like, what do you gain from it though? If you're not a movie critic, I don't get it. And there's also other stuff, like... Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to rotate it like that. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to turn off the light. On my keyboard. pretty quiet in chat tonight though to be fair that's it is a pretty late night so i think i made his uh hair a little too long I'm gonna let's um or yeah it's a little too long just Shorten it just a tad. There we go. There we go. And then erase this shit that doesn't need to be there. 
do do do. Ah, my back. Erase some of this crap that doesn't need to be there. Again, one of the things I don't like about drawing is doing a rough drawing specifically is like all the fucking extra lines that don't need to be there just obscuring your space. It's just obnoxious to a certain degree. There's like this weird line in between his hair and his uh, little fur hair and his fucking face. Maybe that's like his face wrinkles or some shit. I don't know. Because, like, the way they portray him in the show, he doesn't sound that young. He doesn't sound that old. Like, at all. Oh, fuck. Um. But, yeah, to counteract, uh... The fucking notification issue. I put out the tweet saying when I'm live, and I uh, encourage the followers to try and turn on notifications on Twitter, so that way they know on my uh, specifically on my Twitter, so they know. Oh, hey, Kai's on, and they don't find out like two hours late or one hour later as I end the stream. That just still baffles me. That, like, what's the point of a notification? That's like if you have a YouTube... If you subscribe to a YouTube channel and you don't find out that their fucking video comes out until, like, a whole year later. That makes no sense. Why would you... Like, why would it be that difficult? But I don't know. I, I, I don't know about coding and websites and stuff like that. I'm just a guy bitching that, like, stuff that I like to use isn't working. So... Um. Hmm. Maybe there needs to be more space for this thing. Yeah, just a little more space. Okay. Pencil needs to. And then whatever the fuck these things are. I guess this is his head. Or like the. Oh, I see. It's like when you suck in your cheeks or like those things like those things that you see on like Oh hey, what's up? Let's drop by to say Hey, hello. Uh NP NPK NT. I think let me see here. I think I've seen you somewhere. Were you on like are you on like Kimlin's uh stream very often? I I think I've seen you somewhere. But yeah, we're drawing a we're drawing a more we're making trying to make progress on the odd taxi poster that I'm working on. I'm gonna try and stream for about like maybe like one hour and thirty minutes or yes, I remember you. Yeah, now I remember your name now. I remember you, uh, NP not or N or NP. I just say not just because it because the uh, you know the K N T. Uh, hmm. Just need 
digital out. I keep turning my head because my phone is vibrating with notifications and stuff. Uh, like a pigeon. <laughs> Let's see here. As for like, and just to explain, yeah, this is a. Uh, if you didn't see this, this is for an anime series called Odd Taxi, and this drawing is inspired by. Uh, specifically once upon a time in hollywood in the poster the, the specifically the poster for it there's this really kick-ass poster for the movie and i thought oh hey i could probably like i'd love to do something similar to that for a big art project and well here we are uh i've been doing this drawing stream for about a couple weeks i've been i've had a few sessions with it now uh we're ma we keep making progress on each stream that we do which is good uh the only thing that the only thing that kind of worries me sometimes is, uh, like, some, how long it takes me to do basic things in comparison to most artists that I watch. Like, uh, like, uh, Chris Kerber for Neosi, like, I've seen him draw, like, super fast and stuff, but I think that's because, like, he, uh, knows how to, like, what to put attention into. And then there are other artists out there who I see who can fucking just, like, fucking just draw like crazy. Like, they can... Like, they can draw without foundation. Like, this shit that, you, that you're seeing me do right now, they could fucking just draw the outlines and contours of shit without, like, doing the fucking skeleton and the foundation to build up upon that. I can't do that. I have to have foundation no matter what I do because it'll look... The drawing will look like a mess if it, if it does not have that. All right, so let's see here. Kakihana is looking at his fucking phone. Uh... And then, how do I... Mm. So he's got, like, an outer layer to this that I should probably add on. Yeah, there we go. Do you really want to... Do you really want to taste it? That song's been stuck in my head all day. From Peacemaker. It's, uh... I, I don't remember the... It's... Do you really want to taste it by Glim Glam? I, I don't think that's the name of the song. It's a, it's a glam rock band from the 80s, I'm assuming. And, uh, it's, it's really good. It's also a good show. Um, oh, hold on a sec. Uh, someone's calling me. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, hold on a sec. John, I just need to resume my timer and then get us back into the art group. Yeah. Just, you know, a little talk or whatever, just a thing. No, no big deal. Just had to take care of something real fast. Uh, anyways. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe... No, it, it, this is fine. This this uh, outline that I'm doing right now is fine. If I need to like add more space to it, then I can correct it if necessary. Um, add in a circle and stuff. If I sound exhausted, it's mainly just because, like, you know, it's been, it's been a busy day. Oh, shit. I should have... Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah. No, we, we don't need this. 
Good old umbudu button. Just control Z, control Z, control Z. Unlike Photoshop, I can do it as many times as I want. I saw a trailer for that. They, they I, I just realized that it's already out, apparently. The uh, Green Eggs and Ham second serving series is finally out. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out at some point. But uh, I, there's a few other shows I need to catch up on. A few other things I need to watch that are still on my mind. All right, let's see here. His eyes are pointed directly at his phone, so. Here we go. I'm like I'm trying to like think of a, like an expression that he could have like like a sort of a <laughs> Yeah, like a little I think this will work. All right, there you go, Kakiana. And then, oh shit, I may need to, now that I look at it, yeah, I probably need to add the little circle thing around, the little surface thing around them just to add detail to it to make sure it's correct. Maybe exaggerate his eye size a bit more, or how much his eyes are drooping down, just so it's like, <laughs> looks like I'm giving him bags on top of his bags. And then exaggerate this side. And then we need to Actually, no. That I look at it. Uh, hold on a sec. Maybe. Maybe instead of him look. Ah, shit. No, no, no. Go back. Change it. I gotta change the reaction now because it, it's starting to look a bit more like he's worried and and he is desperate for for a girl. But I'm like, that's not the look I'm looking for. Oh, save progress. Instead of like that look there, we need to like make it different. Come on. I'm trying to like 
think of like a like, like kind of like the giddy like let's see here sometimes you gotta make the face to like know what he's doing like he's got his eyebrows raised a bit I'm like <laughs> There we go. He's like, ah, hey, you're a pretty girl. That's really nice. Hey, I, I matched somebody. Hey, I'm Kakihana. <laughs> anyway. Do, 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 do. And then, uh. I need to fucking just add in more stuff. Excuse me. Hmm. Just need to add in that thing there, and then add in this drawing here. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll uh, put on some more Peacemaker. Okay. I would know I would have the idea of doing some of these like with other people but the problem is like it takes me too damn long to work on one drawing and two uh most of the times when I do these it's like super late at night and I'm sure most people are like either auditioning or fucking half asleep not ready to fucking do another stream until it's like, you know, later in the day. Erase, 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 erase. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> He's got two things on his... ...and a tongue. Alright, and then... Um. Whoa, shit! I didn't mean to delete it, fuck. 
That would have been bad. Alright, save that. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, Kakihana is a very relatable character in that, like, if you've seen the show, like, from what little I can say without revealing anything, he's desperate to find a partner and, like, find some, for some form of connection, which I think a lot of us can relate to that, you know? Especially me, like, a helpless romantic like myself. Oh, boy. <laughs> To the point where, like, someone like me can fall in love with someone too fast before realizing, oh, shit, we actually don't have that much in common. And, uh, this relationship was kind of a waste of time. But that's not always true. Kind of looks like I drew Bowser's mouth for a second there. Now Catherine's music is playing in the background of my thing. You know, in Japanese, he's played by the seiyu Kape Yamaguchi, which, if you're familiar with his work, which, if you're a fan of One Piece or Inuyasha, you should be. Especially Death Note, you should be. Uh, he's the voice of L, Usopp, and Inuyasha himself. Also, Rama Satome. Which is funny because Richard Epcar I mean, Richard Ian Cox eventually did start playing... Ranma in the second uh, in this in like the fourth season of Rama one half which like personally I think Richard Ian Cox just fits the character better in my opinion I just I don't have anything against the original actress who played male Ranma I just thought the voice sounded too young he sounded more like you know he sounded like a little boy rather than a teenager in that version of the dub I'm like but hey you know it, it had its charm to some extent. But, you know, I just... Yeah. That's just me. It's been a while since I've seen Ranma 1 half. And it was one of those shows where I watched it... I had this bad habit in middle school where I would... Where I would watch a show in pieces. Rather than watch the full thing. And just, like... Like, I would... Like I would like I would see certain episodes out of context and I wouldn't know and then I would just sort of miss out on some of the detail or whatever, just because where I was getting the anime was like not consistent all the time. Just because I didn't have access to certain, I don't have the same access to, to Crunchyroll and Verve like I do now, is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I go to a friend's house and watch their thing on a fucking on whatever account they have. Other times, it'd be some other thing or whatever. But, you know, y y you do what you can back when you're in middle school, not when with no job or whatever. Oh, how fitting, because we're drawing a fucking monkey or ape or whatever type of... Simeon, this character is. I feel like I could exaggerate. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now to just erase this.
Or actually, maybe his... We're definitely coming up close in the face, though. Hmm. I know that we're, like, up at, like, 60 followers right now, which is crazy. With how long we've been doing this. Sounds like Sam and Max music. Could be wrong though. Probably not. Okay. I gotta fucking see that joke again. I gotta see that fucking clip again. A banang, 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 banang. I love how the whole joke of that was just Sam like overplaying that joke for, to see how far it could go, and then Max just like saying, being just being dumb with it. I wonder how I wonder if Bill Farmer ever said that if he ever fucking read Sam and said Benang. like that or if anyone requested him to that'd be really funny just show, just show him a clip of the actor saying "benang" in that way, and then direct him to do it. That would be fun. That would make my day. But be polite about it, of course. You know, can't, uh, can't be weird about it. About forty-five minutes until my uh, alarm goes off. Jesus, this table's so fucking sensitive to shit. Erase, 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 erase. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, delete. I'd love to do some kind of, like, interview thing on this stream channel at some point, but I need to, like, figure out how, uh, how to do that sort of content on here. to erase 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 delete 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 and then add more space to the fucking thing Th 
this track I'm listening to right now sounds like something from L.A. Noir. I haven't played that game in a long fucking time. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Still haven't seen that movie. Casablanca. I know it's like one of the best movies ever made, but, you know, I've only seen a Looney Tunes parody of it. Carrot Blanca, I think it was called. I just need to There we go. I just need to correct this thing again. One of my biggest fears about flipping my drawing back and forth is that, like, sometimes I worry that it might not, I might just fuck it up even more, and then, and then I have to just keep going forward and like, ah. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> I had a random thought while I was drawing some stuff. I, I was thinking of, like, Aubrey Plaza as fucking Raven from Teen Titans, and I'm like, I don't know why, but that idea just, it works so well to, in my head. Or at least, I, I wonder how she would do, like, just voice-wise as that character. Because, like, Aubrey Plaza, like, she just like her natural, she's really good at deadpan humor. Like, she's really good at it. Like, she's just funny just being herself. She's like that one teen... She's like that one friend you know from high school who just, like, is just unapologetically themselves and just, like, without even trying, just cracks you up with whatever they say. I've done that a couple times with, like, some people I know and, like, at work or whatever where I would crack them up just by, like, just saying a thing or whatever just because they would expect me to. And I'd be like, wait, I wasn't even trying to be funny at that time. But hey, hey, it works, you know? I'll play it. I was like, okay, I'll take it as a compliment. It's just me being myself. I don't know. Something about, like, the... Something about the way that... That Kagehana's looking at his phone is just sort of boring to me. I probably need to... Maybe if I move it closer, it might make it much more interesting. Let me see. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, now I look at it, maybe it's just the positioning of it that looks fucking boring. You, Anyone listening to this, you remember Puka? That was a very fascinating Korean-esque Canadian show that was released on... Jet X that I, I remember and being uh, entertained by when I was younger.
That means I'm probably going to have to move the eyeballs a bit more. Oh, Christ. All right. I'm going to have to erase some shit. Okay. Again, one of my least favorite parts about doing this. Because it's like, if you fuck up, you could erase a vital detail, and it's like, fuck, dude. Why? 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 Actually, you know what? Yeah, uh... Okay, we'll erase, like, this part here, and then I'll come back in, like, a couple minutes, and then, like, you know, grab an apple or some shit, and then fucking come back in and start drawing again. I think we got most of it. Okay. All right. Uh, I will be right back in just a moment. I just need to go grab something to, you know, rejuvenate and stuff like that. So uh, sit tight. We'll be back again, and we'll probably draw for, like, maybe, like, an additional 30 or 50 minutes, depending on how, uh, how tired I am and stuff like that. Be right back.
All right, Mike is back on. Uh, switching back to the artboard. Fucking putting on my damn glove. And uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to change the music to something else. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to think of another track. Hmm. Uh, maybe just put on, like, the regular, like, lo-fi hip-hop radio that people usually listen to, um, lo-fi girl. Yeah, 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 get on with it. Goodbye ad, I don't care. The channel has, like, 10.2 million subs now. It's nuts. Wait, who's, who's online right now? A few people. Not a lot, but a few. Anyways, uh. Gonna start my timer back up and go. Alright, we have about 36 minutes until that shit goes off. Going back to Kakihana. It's like, okay, so it's lined up, so his mouth goes, like that. Okay, so that means this has to go away. And this has to go here. Let's see here what makes sense and what doesn't. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Keep the exaggeration there because it adds to it, I think. The fact that it pinches up like that adds character. If I get any critiques or notes saying anything about his cheeks, then, like, maybe I'll, uh, you know, make the proper adjustments needed. His line needs to be changed a bit. I just remembered that one Batman episode, Tigress. There's, like, this thing where Catwoman gets captured, basically turns into a furry, and, uh... And fucking Batman has to go save her, but then encounters Tigress and a, a mad scientist who's trying to do, like, an island of Dr. Moreau shit or something. Um, island of Dr. Moreau. Never saw too much of that movie, though. Uh, or never actually seen it. I've only seen, like, people make fun of the remake of it, but I never watched it. I'm assuming I'm not. I'm not missing much of either, from what I'm from what I'm hearing. I've only saw. I, I've only seen a Simpsons parody of it. The idea I'm getting is that a fucking man uh, abducts people and tries to turn them, and turns them into animals. That's that's all I know about it. I know that like Marlon Brando was in the remake, right? Yeah, I think so. so yeah, I think it's the. He's like, hey, I, I, have a, I have a movie that I want to do. I'd like to do this movie where I, I do this little thing here, you know? This is my job, you know? It's a fucking movie. Let's see how it works. I gotta be careful with how it turns out. It's kind of like, do, whenever I do fucking Mar Has Zach Hadel ever done an impression of Marlon Brando? I wonder how that would sound. Like, Zach Hadel do Hey, dude. Hey, guys. Uh, so, yeah, you know, just, holy fuck, what the fuck? And it just him going, like, hey, I, I see this old thing, hey, you know? Okay. 
his eyes are not that fucking big. And then with this fucking hand, uh, just make it, like, relaxed. Alright. I'm just gonna zoom in on the... Okay, I can't fucking see what I'm doing. Ugh, how annoying. God damn it. You think you know how to draw hands from a certain angle, but then they fucking appear at you at a certain way, and it's like, fuck. It's like, damn. It's like, how do you do these damn things again? Alright. Uh, you got the ball here, and then you got the fucking thumb. Fingertips, fingertips, fingertips. Okay. No. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those fucking streams. Let me figure out this damn hand. Okay. I watched that Rushmore movie the one with uh, the one that was directed by Wes Anderson, like I remember a while back, and I remember not liking the main character that much. I don't think the main character is supposed to be likable or whatever, but 
I just didn't like that. I didn't like the concept of that movie. Like, the dude fucking is, like, attracted to this, like, teacher or something like that. I just, it, shit like that creeps me out. Like, it just sort of makes the kid, like, dude, you got issues. And then, of course, he gets kicked out of the school for that. And then he starts acting like a jackass and gets sent to prison and stuff like that for acting like a jackass. And it's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember... And like, I think regular show did an, did a parody of the opening bit of it, but otherwise, yeah, no, I've. Mm -mm. Not my cup of tea. I liked Isle of Dogs though. That was a good Wes Anderson movie. Very good. I still don't like the shape of that damn hand. <sighs> it's elite. Here we go, fucking hell. Bullshit. Just attach yourself to the fucking limb. Piece of shit thumb. <laughs> oh, God. How much time left? Yeah, I blew off ten. I knew I blew off ten minutes wasting it on the damn hand. Um... Sounds like someone's growling. Oh, those are cars. That would have been, like, somewhat worrying if it was a fucking dog doing that. It was like, oh boy, this big-ass dog makes the whole fucking ground shake with their growl. Some dogs that growl, like, can be very intimidating, but then other times it's like, I, it's just like, oh, that's cute. Like a dog's like, like a chihuahua being like, oh, that's intimidating. It thinks it's intimidating. When a, when a chihuahua bites you, it's like, it doesn't, it's like, yeah, it hurts, but it's like, it's more so annoying than that. When a rotty bite, when a Rottweiler bites you, it's fucking, you'll, you'll probably have to go to the hospital. Rottweilers, they scare me. I'm sure they're they're a cute one. Like when they're sweet, I'm sure they're sweethearts. But like, otherwise though, uh, I'm gonna keep my distance. I'm like I'm like, mmm, that Rottweiler probably doesn't like people. And you can tell when a dog doesn't like you by their growl and stuff like that. It's like, oh, like like a basic growl, like oh, it's like what it's like sort of whatever. That's like a warning. But if it's like a like a really like angry one, I'm like, oh boy, yeah, no, they really don't like you. It's not bad. Not bad for a hand that people will barely see, but I put a lot of detail into because I'm I'm that fucking picky. Anyways. Uh But yeah, that's that's just usually the kind of guy I am. Like, if I fucking see de if I see a detail that's wrong, I will fucking put more detail into it just because I I can. Again, this is a skinny fellow, so I don't think his, uh, I think his physique 
not to not to be not to insult i'm sure like in traditional sense would sort of leave more to be desired so i don't think he's kind of the peck physicality of sorts he just probably has like the basic like oh he's got Sorry. It's a thing, like, I, I don't like when my nose whistles, so I tend to, like, just deal with it. Like, ugh, gross. Try it a bit more. this shit doesn't need to be there and there we go Boop. now then need to add in a little circle triangles to show where that goes there we go and then uh shit show his shirt collar yay get rid of the stuff that's in his fingers because that doesn't need to be there that's only there for me to guide it and stuff when you draw a fucking thing i remember like because like when you're a kid you like you think oh it looks like this and that why are you drawing over that you could barely see it because you don't realize that you're supposed to add detail to the stuff and understand where everything goes uh, you know but you figure it out all right let's see here okay so it goes that way Again, the arrows are for me to know where to put the cloth and stuff. Bruce spring this thing, Bruce spring this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Bruce spring this thing, Bruce spring this thing. <laughs> it's still one of the funniest fucking bits in that show. Oh, like these glasses are slipping off. <laughs> Someone's spraying some like smelly shit. In my house it doesn't smell bad though whatever my f whatever i have i got some smelly shit in my room too it's i've got like some like uh uh scented oil that's like apple and cinnamon and stuff like that and every time i open my door my family keeps complaining like going like dude shut your door it's all smelly and bad and all that stuff I'm like but i could like the apple and cinnamon <laughs> It's a comforting smell. Okay. Hmm. 
to fucking. And then just like put the fucking I would assume it's probably if it's on that part of his shoulders probably up here. It's uh, again with the fucking hard to see shit. Uh. All right, get, we're gonna have to draw the patterns on the shirt again. God damn it! At least we're almost done with Kakihana's rough drawing. At least erase the extra shit again. So that way we just have the rough shape of everything. So we got the shape of it down, we just have to now make the shirt a lot more lively, a lot more, you know, like a fucking lawn sleeve shirt should be. So it's pinching on his, uh, it's pinching here, so we'll do that, and there, and there. We'll just erase these other ones because we don't need them. We need that one. And then, uh, it's a loose fitting shirt, so we'll keep that in mind. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Well, it's meeting up here, so... this shit I'm thinking about that how it should have ended Spider-Man short now for some reason the one with the the one from No Way Home how many more minutes 13 minutes okay yeah well okay I'll tell you it, it'll probably yeah we're, we I knew we were, we were gonna be spending this stream doing Kakehana and even then like I still think Kakehana looks a little weird Maybe that fixed it a little bit. There we go. Somewhat. Fucking 
Alright, now that we have a clear idea of what his shirt looks like, I think I can probably just, like, draw on his little thing here. So it's, like, right here. And uh, I think we have him. I think we have Takehana for the most part. Uh, I think the, uh, we're just going to maybe correct a little bit of his iPhone there. There we go. This is my phone. It looks like I think we got him for the most part, yeah. Just include the little lines in between his head so that way that... And yeah, I Let's see how many more? nine minutes with nine minutes to spare. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. There we go, Kakehana. So I guess uh, for the next uh, drawing thing here. All right. So hold on a sec. What we're gonna? I'm gonna turn off my timer so it doesn't go off as I ta as I talk. Cancel that. Anyway, so I'm gonna. We are going to uh, first. We're going to take a picture. Snap a picture of like our progress made here. Uh, let's see here. Just like this. Boom. And then I'll save that up on, I'll throw that up on Twitter to show everybody, hey, I, I, I made more progress. We've done five of these streams so far? Holy shit, five of them. I wonder how many more we'll do before we actually start inking. And start painting or anything like that but yeah uh that's what we got so far we finished up kakihana uh i guess the next thing i'll do is just like think about like what other i guess uh at some point we'll do uh really like, because it's like i'm doing like all the character the characters in red that i'm doing are the ones that are like there's the ones that are the big focus, secondary focus, and then there's the ones that are, like, third, I guess, you know, the ones that are, like, in different parts of the background. Um, 
ones that kind of overlap like there's because there's a one there's something i did with the let's see here we need to turn the rough drawing back on and to get an idea of what i'm talking about but um hold on a sec Yeah, here we go. See, like, this is the plan for everything. This is what we have so far and all that. So, what we have so far, we have... Because what I'm planning to do is that I'm planning to draw some characters in red, and then I'm going to do some characters in green. Things that overlap with that, you know, just, like, do, do the ones that are dominant and then just keep going from there. So we got, uh... We got to do Shirakawa here, and then we got to do, uh... Or Shir yeah, it, it was Shirakawa, right? right? Yeah, Shirakawa, who's basically Sharon Tate right here. Uh, Inai, Tanaka, Yano, Dobu. Then there's the Homo Sapiens down here. The fucking, uh, the brothers, the cop brothers, whatever the names are. Uh, we got, oh, right, because I got it. The fucking Daimon brothers, younger and eldest. Like one's, m yeah, younger and eldest, yeah. And then, yeah, Dobu. So we have about, let's see here. In terms of the characters that we have left to draw on this little poster here, we have about, uh, let's see here, one... Te uh, I'm gonna count Mystery Kiss as like, let me see here. How many? T it's three characters, but let's see here. Let's just count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About like, oh yeah, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About like, 13 to 14 characters to draw in this uh, poster that we need to still uh, point out. Because I, I said th I say that money because we still have to consider that there's this car, the odd ta the taxi here. Because I know that like there's a scene. Well, actually, I think about it. We I could probably get away with just having Otakawa in it. So maybe, yeah, like 13 at least. Like have Otakawa in his taxi. And then, aside from that. Yeah, like, all we have to do is just, like, worry about all the other subtle shit that we have to add in the background. Like, maybe, like, hmm, like, backgrounds and fucking all that stuff that makes the fucking thing pop. Because there's, like, a background and there's all this other shit. Yeah. Hmm. Something that makes the text pop out. So I guess think about the colors that are dominant, I suppose. I probably should make sure that the settings for this are right. How do you change the color tone of this? Make it more like cyan, more like cyan friendly than RGB friendly. I think it's like in the view portal or something. View. Like, it's color profile, right? Yeah, I think so. Give you settings. Ah, there we go. Gotta change it to cyan. Because it's fucking print. Alright, print. I had this in my in my notes somewhere, color profile. Put it down in my notes so I don't forget. Color no fuck. Profile.
shit. Hashtag color profile. Bam. RGB for digital. CMYK for printing. Doesn't say specifically what kind of CMYK, but... I just seem to remind myself to change the color tones when I get done. Or is that the right way to do it? I don't know. Tonal correction? Rendering, perceptual. Okay, anyway, just, yeah, leave it as a, yeah. I just gotta remember, like, when I do, when I uh, change the color profile for any other, pro god damn it. It's the, almost the end of the stream, and I fucking spat in my tablet. Sorry, this this will not go unpunished. Anyway. Okay, okay, so enough bullshitting. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's save our progress. And we will get back to this drawing at some point in the future when I have time. Because at some point I want to get back to doing Sonic games before the month of April is over. Before the month of March is over. Uh, anyways, back to just cam. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our, uh, our typical little relaxation drawing stream and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm going to see if anyone is on that I recognize. There is somebody. We'll see. Uh, I have a few ideas. Hopefully they'll allow me to, you know, raid if not. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. There's probably not that many of us right now because it's a late night stream. So, uh, let's see. We will drop down to, let's see here, individual's name, someone I have not rated yet, if possible. Um, hopefully this works. And go. All right, perfect, awesome. All right, we're going to do it. So uh, we're going to raid this person because we've never raided them before. Thank you everybody for coming down and uh, stay tuned for when I play Sonic Three and Knuckles, or maybe do another, maybe do another drawing stream in the meantime. Anyways, stay tuned and take care, everybody. <laughs>